Good old Caesar, I love it. But I also like to change it up slightly and that's what I'm going to be doing with my recipe today. This is going to be a radicchio and swordfish Caesar salad. It works a treat. Now we need to do the crouton element first and I like to use breadcrumbs for this. So I'm just going to turn on my pan. We want this on a medium to high heat. You don't want to be too hot because they will burn quite easily. You just want them to go golden brown in lots of oil. I'm using a low scented oil for this, so just a grapeseed oil, about two tablespoons worth. And I'll put the rest in the dressing. And that looks like it's the perfect heat because my thermo signal is solid red. So in with a generous handful of these fresh breadcrumbs. I always have some leftover bread at my house and this is a great way to use it up. So just coat the breadcrumbs in the oil. You'll see it absorb it immediately. And then we're just going to keep an eye on it and keep tossing it until they're golden brown. Now I want to preheat my grill pan. I want this to be really hot because I don't want to overcook my fish. I just want to get those beautiful char marks on each side. Just keep it slightly rare in the centre. Now classic Caesar dressing, some garlic. So just bruise that, roughly chop it. I'm going to be blending this so you don't have to be too pedantic with it. And anchovies. I'm going to add, let's say, two and a half anchovies. I want to keep the rest for a garnish later on. And a small amount of Dijon mustard. Two egg yolks. And I just want to blend this to break it up. Okay, that's looking good. And Let's go back over to the breadcrumbs because I can see that they're golden brown. Oh, look at that nice, even colour. That's what we're after. Pop that onto our plate. Just fabulous. Spread it out and we'll just allow that to drain. Good. Back to our dressing. I'll add some parmesan cheese. And... I'll start blending this again and the oil. I like to use a neutral oil, so grapeseed oil is fantastic for a mayonnaise style dressing like this. Start with a small drop, so I'd say not even a quarter of a teaspoon. Blend and then add another small drop and keep doing this until this dressing thickens. Okay, Caesar dressing is looking good. If your dressing is too thick, you just need to add a splash of water. This is the consistency that we're after. Mm -mm -mm. Now I need to give this some zing. So I like to add just a splash of red wine vinegar. You could just add some lemon juice if you like to. And we'll give that a mix. And that's ready to go, yummo. I did reserve some of the Parmesan cheese because I like to sprinkle that on top. So all our elements are pretty much ready to go. Let's grill our swordfish, the steak of the sea. It has such a meaty flavour to it and it really needs no time at all on the grill. So a little splash of extra virgin olive oil. It's just on one side. When you're using a grill pan, it's a good idea to oil your fish or any protein that you're cooking and then put it on the grill as opposed to oiling the grill. Because of all the little griddles, it just gets caught and makes puddles. We don't want that. So we just want it on the fish so we get an even colour. Salt, pepper. I like lots of pepper with this. And now we'll just spread it out evenly. Turn it over. Good. Let's pop it on the grill. Isn't that just the best sound? I love this grill in particular because it cleans so well. Every other griddle pan I've had in the past, all of those gnarly bits get stuck on it even after washing it. This, because it's non-stick, it just slides off. So you can see with this swordfish how the protein is changing colour. It's going white. This is the perfect indication of when you should turn it. So I'll just grab some tongs. And once you see that protein change, let's turn it over. Look at those grill marks, isn't that beautiful? And that one, we'll just give it 
one more minute, no more on that side. All right. Yep, we've got good colour on the other side. And you can see it's still a little rare in the centre. Take that out and just let it rest. It'll continue cooking as it comes out of the pan. So for the radicchio, radicchio has a really bitter flavour and it's going to go nicely with the creaminess of our Caesar dressing. I'll cut it in half. I'm going to take that core out. And whenever you're mixing a salad, it's a good idea to use a really big bowl so you can toss so each leaf gets dressed nicely. I'm going to pull the leaves apart. Look at the colour. That's why I like to use it because it's just so warm and autumnal. So we want about half of this radicchio. Other leaves you could use, I mean the classic cos of course. Whatever lettuce leaf you do use, make sure that it's a hearty lettuce leaf because it needs to stand up to that creamy, rich dressing. Okay, that's plenty. I'm going to dress that with our dressing. Don't be stingy on the Caesar dressing. A few tablespoons and I'll grab a fork and give that a really good toss. Mm -mm -mm. Very good. Now for our crunchy breadcrumbs, going to add a handful now and we'll dress it at the last minute too. I'll grab a fillet of my swordfish and just slice it. Wow, look at that, perfectly cooked, just slightly rare in the centre. That's how it should be. And I'm just going to add a little more. I'll reserve a few pieces for the top. And we'll just coat that. And let's plate up. The old school plate for this. Pile that in the centre. A few undressed pieces of swordfish. Some breadcrumbs. I love how crunchy they've become. They're not big chunks of bread. Just a nice crunchy element there. A little extra parmesan cheese. And if you're an anchovy lover, a few more anchovies. Just grab the really long ones and pull them apart. You'll see they get a little stringy over the top, in and around. There you have it. That's my modern take on the Caesar salad. We flipped it on its head and it's a good flip because it's so tasty with the swordfish, the radicchio, yummo.